Well, the suspect in the deadly shooting at a Venetian company picnic is back in Las Vegas tonight after leaving the state. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Denise Valdez. It's been more than two months since police say 42-year-old Anthony Robles shot two casino executives, killing Mia Banks and injuring Hector Rodriguez. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is live outside the Clark County Detention Center where Robles is in custody tonight. Karen. Well, Christiane and Denise Robel is being held without bail, and he was fighting extradition all the way from Texas, which delayed the process of bringing him back to Las Vegas. But the Clark County District Attorney says it was all a matter of time. Anthony Robel has a new mug shot after being booked into the Clark County Detention Center. Authorities have been waiting for this moment for more than two months. Most people, rather than sit in jail for an extra couple of months, don't fight the extradition process. Uh, Mr. Robel in this case chose to. That was his right, so it took a couple of months. Robel is accused of shooting two Venetian executives during a company picnic at Sunset Park on April 15th. Hector Rodriguez survived. Mia Banks did not. Police say Robel was a disgruntled employee, and then after the shooting, he left the state, making several stops before eventually being captured in Texas. Authorities in the small town of Vega found him in a stolen car parked at a rest area four days after the shooting. It's a terrible case. Most murders are terrible cases, but this seemed to be planned. This seemed to be thought out. Clark County District Attorney Steve Wolfson says it's too early to know if they will seek the death penalty, but it's a decision he and his prosecutors will be making in the next two months. I've assigned one of my most seasoned um, special prosecutors to prosecute him because at this point we deserve, uh, we believe he deserves uh, some pretty significant punishment. Wilson says there is no question about who pulled the trigger, but they have to consider other factors. So the question is not whether he committed the act, it's what prompted him to do it. What was his mental state? What was his motivation? Is there anything to excuse or mitigate from his conduct? Now, Robel is facing three felony charges for murder, attempted murder, and battery with use of a deadly weapon. He's due in court tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Thank you, Karen.